despite our long history of violence, and it goes back to the very beginning, uh, and it's continuous, and despite that we do have violent impulses within us as humans, um, there's more information in our brains and in our genes. We can learn new behaviors. It is obvious that uh, so many people have proven there can be peaceful people, prophets of peace, and peaceful cultures like the Jain culture. Unfortunately, these are the exceptions, not the rules. We can teach nonviolence by reaching the very young before they are poisoned by society. Veganism is very important in teaching nonviolence. It is the center uh, of the vegan message, so long as the vegan message is understood to be ethical and political and not just dietary, because we teach respect for all living things. The um, teachings in society. The socialization of children and the socialization of, pe of people through the media. And when children learn that it's acceptable to abuse an animal, they never learn it's not acceptable to hurt a human being. When presidents of nations get on television and say, we are waging war, and these wars turn out to be wars of aggression, not defense, and they turn out to be wars for corporations, not to protect people. When the, when the leaders of our world tell us that violence is legitimate and acceptable, uh, uh, these are very hard lessons to combat and they seep into people's minds and so we learn this violent behavior. Uh, so we have, we have so much to combat. Um, but again, uh, it's through humane education programs reaching the young. It's through whatever education that, 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 that we can put out there. Uh, through uh, the vegan message and other messages of non-hate, non-racism, non-homophobia, etc. It's just that there uh, is an overwhelming emphasis on violence in our society, and it will be very hard to combat. Uh, but if, if, if there's any one culture uh, that uh, is uh, in a position to teach non-violence, it's veganism. Environmentalists uh, do not teach non-violence, they teach sustainable hunting. That's violent. The leftists don't teach nonviolence, despite all of their talk about rights and democracy. They teach uh, welfareism, welfare uh, farming, etc., humane killing. That's not that's not nonviolent. The vegans are the only group preaching a universal message of nonviolence that makes us unique, that makes us important. But let's realize just how strong, dominant, and ubiquitous uh, the messages of violence are. And that means, do we have a strategy to counter the, the, the omnipresent image of violence in our society? We talk about vegan education all the time. Do we really know how to educate? Have we really thought this through? I don't think we have the right theories. I don't think we have the right models of human nature. For instance, if we are, as I said, not always able to be educated, how can we break through that? People. People pretend like you can educate everyone, like uh, the Socratic idea. You do the wrong because you don't understand the right. Plenty of people understand the right and still do the wrong. We, our model of human nature is wrong. We don't have a good theory of education. We're weak in that area. So we have the right ethics. We don't know how to spread the message. And we don't know anything about vegan outreach either. We're still talking to white, elite, middle class, privileged people. We have not got the message to Africa, to people of color, to the poor, to families, to communities everywhere. We have a long way to go. And it saddens me because we are, we are so important to the future of this planet. And, 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 and we're so weak in our philosophical foundations and so weak in our tactics. We have got to rethink this whole movement and, and, our, and our whole philosophies and our tactics from the bottom up. We have to rethink everything because it's not working and it's not adequate and we're running out of time.